We're having an issue here. Oh God. Good morning, all my beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. In front of me, you have Captain Bavar, and he's escorting me out to the first checkpoint. And because I'm going to Kirkuk, and I'll do a stop there tonight. It's not that far. It's only like 110 kilometers or something like that. But it's used to make the the way to Baghdad a little bit shorter because it's pretty long and with a lot of checkpoints. So I thought I go there and um, I sleep there for a night. Yesterday I was hanging out with these guys and they were amazing. We went to the bazaars out in the street food markets and walked around there and had some shy and just drove motorcycle in the evening. It was super, super fun. Thank you so much guys for that. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm heading towards the federal Iraq now. So I'm gonna leave Kurdistan, unfortunately. I wish I could stay longer, but with my 10 days visa, it was possible. But uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. So Kirkuk, let's go! Woo! <laughs> This guy, it's so funny. <laughs> and his bike is so cool. Love it. It's a Suzuki Boulevard. Ah. You see the track here? What does it say? Volvo. Was Swedish ones. Now it's Chinese. Very cool, I know. Alright, it's time. Here is the border to Federal Iraq. Yes! Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Going to Kirkuk? Kirkuk. Yeah, 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 I text. I text, I text. Okay. Drive safely. Drive safe. Okay? Thank you for everything. Yes. Ah! <laughs> okay, bye bye. Let's go. To be honest, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Too many horror stories been told lately about Federal Iraq. Whew. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. But it was a checkpoint there and they just let me pass. So first checkpoint, all good. All good, all good. Oh, it's a lot of dust. Oof. I my eyes. Some militaries. But it still says the Kurdish flag. Maybe I'm not in Federal yet. No, I'm not sure. Huh. Hello! Huh? Too long time! <laughs> you think? Nice bikes! Mamut, Christina, Christina! 
nice to meet you. Very, very good. It's just uh, windy and a uh, lot of traffic, you know. Huh? Very bad, yeah, you see. <laughs> holes. So what is your plan? To go in Baghdad? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, early in the morning, okay. I have to go. No, not exactly. No, I, I will start really early tomorrow. Alright, so I'm meeting up these guys from Kirkuk. Another team, motorcycle team. So they will take me to Kirkuk. It's amazing, so kind of them. So, I stay a night in Kirkuk and then I continue to Baghdad. Here is the checkpoint into Kirkuk and I think this is pretty much the one to actual Federal Iraq. Alright, checkpoint went alright. I just want to check my passport, take me to the office, took maybe five minutes. Let's continue. So we will go and have a little tea and discuss my route towards Baghdad. So see what I say about that. But apparently it's one of the most dangerous roads to go uh, between um, Kirkuk and Baghdad. So I think it's road number two, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, I will make it, no problem. You just go slow because the road there is really bad because when I went up um, from uh, from Baghdad when I flew there from Baghdad up to Erbil I remember the road was terrible but you know you drive slow take it easy that's it should be no problem and people advise you to not stop in small places so yeah I will be fine Yeah, they have traffic police here, and they are sometimes uh, they're acting like the traffic light. <laughs> To the hotel we go. Perfect. I'm going to the hotel and I have a royal escort here. <laughs> These guys are so cool. And they really calm me down by telling me it's not that dangerous as I'm thinking it is. So what I've heard. So that feels good. So hotel now, and then I will see what I will do if I go and have dinner with these guys, or if I'm just too tired and relax. I need to actually feel my body, and so see how I feel. That's apparently my hotel up there. Sarai Hotel. Ooh, I have a garage as well, and the guys are guiding me here. <laughs> oh, so kind. Alright. Ah, perfect. That's it for today. I did a huge bomb here in my place, like I always do. 
but I'm gonna transfer some uh, files and a lot of other stuff I have to do before I leave tomorrow towards Bangkok. So, I see you tomorrow. Sleep well! Good morning all my beautiful people, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm heading towards Baghdad. I will go on a pretty dangerous road with a lot of potholes and a lot of trucks, lorries. So I start pretty early to reach Baghdad, I hope at least at 4 or something like that. It is uh, 270 kilometers here from Kirkuk to Baghdad, but still I'm going to drive very slow and do a lot of stops I think. So. I will take my time, so let the adventure continue. That's good. So yesterday I met up with the Hawks Motorcycle Club of um, Kirkuk. So they come and met me like in the last checkpoint in uh, Kirkuk, which was super kind. They've been waiting for me there for a long time, like an hour, sitting there with a little fire. So yesterday we went to a cafe, chatted a little bit, they gave me some tips and ideas and a lot of good information and make my heart really calm uh, because they only heard terrible stuff so they sort of made me feel much calmer uh, and then uh, we had some uh, something to eat as well uh, really good fish which was super nice uh, I always wanted to try that fish I'd seen it everywhere in, in Iraq but I you know Never took the chance to eat it, but so good. And eat with your hands as well. Wow, it was a long time ago. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, so thankful for that. Uh, 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 Baghdad, Baghdad. Am I nervous? Yes, I am. Will I be alright? I don't know. I hope so. Checkpoint number two. Got to go in the office and meet the guys. Everyone staring and talking about my motorcycle. <laughs> oh, they're really kind. Very kind. Hello. Uh, do you work here? Do you speak English? <laughs> I want chai. Uh, yes? Oh dear? Okay. Alright, so we have one chai and Sarek is a little bit a little bit slow in the morning. I think she has some bad fuel, that's why. It would not be so good if I got stuck here. Come on baby. We're having an issue here. Oh god. 
I'm stuck. Come on, Sarek. Boy, you're for me. That was so weird. Could it be for bad fuel? Because you heard the, the bomb. Poof. Oof. I'm a little bit scared now. Oh. Jesus. What is going on with you, Sarek? Please let it just be. Or just be bad fuel. She's running well now. It's no problem. But I had this issue before, like she's... Since I came to Iraq, she's hard to start sometimes. But this was one of the worst times. It took a long time. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. If you know, let me know in the comments. The guys sitting on the truck there have these huge guns on them. And it looks like they have like grenades or something on their body. <laughs> and this is the highway, highway number two towards Baghdad. Salam alaikum, two seconds. Uh, gasoline? Benzine? Benzine? Huh? Only diesel? Ah, okay. As expected, diesel. This one was really delicious, the coffee I tried here last time. Cafe? Ah. A photo. Okay. <laughs> So this is basically the the orange stop and the coffee stop. So, uh, it was delicious that coffee. Mm. As you know, I only have 10, or now it's like 8 days, 7 days left in Iraq. But I only got a 10 days visa. When I'm in Baghdad, I will go to an office, a residence office, and see what they mean. Because it might be a mistake, because it's usually 2 months. We will go there tomorrow and ask to see what they say. And then I will take the decision from there and see what I will do. So sad that you only hear bad things about this country. Only bad things in media. I hope that I can show a different side for you and that you understand it's not only like that. Because you find the good and the bad in every single country. Iraq was just unfortunate to have a lot of war and uh, dictatorship and stuff like that, you know. 
Without that, I think it would be a really brilliant country to explore and uh, for tourism and everything. I mean, it's slowly, slowly growing the tourism in um, Iraq, Kurdistan at least. And I hope that one day the whole Iraq will become number one tourist spot to come and visit. And they're selling bread and coffee. Kids. That's pretty nice when you have to wait in these queues as a trucker. And right in front of me we have the port of Baghdad. We are in Baghdad in a couple of seconds. Three, two, one. In front of me we have Ali and he's picking me up from the port of Baghdad to take me into town and that is very kind. As I said, I love the motorcycle community here in the whole Iraq. They're great. It's almost off-roading here in Baghdad. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> See, let's see, let's see. Maybe we can do this. So. I never really ridden in a group uh, since now, like since I got my motorcycle license. But uh, you see, he's doing a lot of signs, that one on the head. Uh, it means he's coming a car or something on that right side. And when he's putting his leg out, it means that uh, there are potholes. Oh, here comes an army. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. It seems alright anyway. Oh, glass, glass, glass. 